What's going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to do a movie reaction today for Starship Troopers. That's how I imagine they say it. John, how are you? I am doing well. How are you, Greg? Doing great. That's how I imagine I say that. It leaves my Paramount Plus subscription in 10 hours, so I was like, <laughs> well, we got to knock this off the list then. Full disclosure, I'm pretty sure when I was like seven years old, so like 25 years ago, I saw some of this movie. Needless to say... I can't tell you anything about it other than I'm pretty sure they kill a lot of big bugs in it. Yep. So it's pretty much going to be like a first time watching for me, essentially. But John, you've never seen this at nope. all, right? No, yeah. I've seen some of the effects pieces in person, but that's about it. Yeah, it's going to be a, a fresh, fresh film. Fresh film. <laughs> yeah, because I, I know my dad really liked this movie. <laughs> so I know a lot of people sure love it. I caught movie. it in the background. <laughs> so my experience growing up with it. But ladies and gentlemen, leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, that would that would help us out, I guess. Also, subscribe and click the notification bell. We got more movie reactions rolling out. We are out of town at the moment, and so we're, we won't be back to the 20th. So we're just kind of trying to stockpile the, the list of things we did not cover. And uh, full-length reaction watch-alongs. We sync up with your own copy of Starship Troopers, available for super sexy rejects at our Patreon page. Major, major thank you to all who have helped us have a great holidays by supporting us at our Patreon. Let's get into action, people. <laughs> Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part, too. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Source of the bug meteor attacks orbits a twin star system whose brutal gravitational forces produce an unlimited supply of bug meteorites in the form of this asteroid belt. That's horrifying. <laughs> we break net now and take you live to Clendathu where the invasion has begun. The XQ uplink on two. Fascinating. It's an ugly planet, a bug planet, a planet hostile to life. Whoa. Crazy. It's like some pitch black shit. Yeah. That's kind of like the Muto from Godzilla. Oh, wow. <laughs> what an opening. Oh, <laughs> snap. I <laughs> <laughs> just go right into the camera. It's like a found footage movie. This is a Paul Verhoeven movie, right? Yeah. Okay. Rico. Rico. Rico! <laughs> Pay attention. MPH. Damn. We talked about the veterans, how they took control and imposed the stability that has lasted for generations since. You know these facts, but have I taught you anything of value? That Denise Richards. Wow. She's so ugly. <laughs> the contrary opinion that violence never solves anything is wishful thinking at its worst. People who forget that always pay. Suave. I doubt anyone here would recognize civic virtue if it reached up and bit you in the ass. You'll never get together now. She was so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this movie was gross, but geez. <laughs> Good job. My God. Your turn. Ooh. Yikes. It's embarrassing. Cool. Take the example of the arachnids, a highly evolved Ugh. insect society. By human standards, they are relatively stupid. But, but what have the bugs done? Do they attack us? <laughs> the heart. No gloves on anybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Solid barf gag. She just got hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's my kink. But Cyrano, uh, shit. Go bug mom, Cyrano. Go bug mom. He's on a mission to go eat him. Get off my leg! Oh! I sure hope you don't do anything like that to me. Can't do human. Yet. Neil Patrick Harris, you are problematic. <laughs> oh my God, future football. Yes. Oh wow. 
<laughs> it's the XFL. Everyone's going to the dance, aren't you? 12, let's go! Ship off to Tarascova tomorrow. You're going to the Fleet Academy? Uh, That's where I want to go! Come on, number 12, let's play ball! Oh, not Bill Paxton. You are hitting on her. <laughs> yeah! Hunt! Yeah! Hunt! <laughs> Damn. This is a very Ooh. colorful film. Say Buenos Aires Tigers? Rico, flip six three hole. Got it? Denise Richards, you don't give two shits. You're drifting! Flip six three hole on one. Got it? Get your head in the game. Diz was in Friends as a reoccurring character. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get over that. It's so cool. It's the coolest. <laughs> Flips are cool. Come on. Let's go, Casper Van Dien. <laughs> That's right. You still have a girlfriend. I'd rather take 10 lashes in public square than see you ruin your life. It's a term of service. I just want to get out on my own. Into space. At a war. God, that is a conflict. Which one do you go for? Depending on who the camera's on, I think she's the better looking one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Johnny, how come we never got together? Can't we just be friends, Diz? Dude. Friend zone troopers. Well, my parents are against it. What would you do if you were me? Figuring things out for yourself is the only freedom anyone really has. Use that freedom. Make up your own mind, Rico. He told me to make up my mind, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> what are the bugs doing, though? You know, are they just existing? They're, they're <laughs> inflicting uh, tyranny. Are they? <laughs> they're taking our jobs, G. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> this is Xander. This is what I could have. Yeah, we know each other from the game. Well, maybe I'll see you at the academy. Yeah, who knows? You know. You would go for that guy with that haircut. He looks like Chris Kattan. Militarism. Great thing. It's a great thing. Dude, I love wars. Authoritarianism. Great thing. Great things. <laughs> I'm going to be a pilot. Well, good for you. I got games in theory. Games in theory? Game theory. It's a game, game theory. theory. <laughs> Let's make a vow. No matter what, we'll always be friends. <laughs> Is your friendship at risk? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, that's what the bugs are doing. <laughs> Tearing us apart. You'll resign, and that's all there is to it. It may look bad, but if that's the worst you suffered, then that's fine. I won't quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's my decision. I made it. You walk out that door, you are cut off, young man. You understand me? All right, that's it. You are cut off! I love this definition, distinguishing citizen and civilian. Yeah. I'm going to miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I love you. Oh. That's me. No. Ouch. <laughs> wow. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just like that, high school's over. Fully automatic burrito. Who wants to hold it? Me. Citizen rule. <laughs> yes, fight over that gun. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. Every uh, school kid knows that arachnids are dangerous. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> good, good censorship. Dantana had already been chosen by other colonists, arachnids. Would you like to know more? <laughs> That's enough for one day. There's definitely some RoboCop in this movie's DNA. So be in the mobile infantry. The trouble is, you are not good enough to wait. Clancy Brown. Yeah, buddy. Who here thinks they got what it takes to knock me down? I guess maybe I do, sir. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, no, jeez. Why? Why'd you go that far? You all right, son? Sir, yes, sir. It's mine. Ow! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no. Who's next? Sir. Fear is the bike. Chris Flores reporting for duty, sir. No way. 
You specifically requested transfer from Fort Cronkite to this training unit? Sir, I heard it was the best, sir. But what makes you think you're good enough? Take him down. <laughs> now that's the kind of gal who makes squad leader. That's my job you're talking about. <laughs> Street Fighter. No, she looks like Cammy. <laughs> Nicely done, Clancy Brown. Colonel Guile wins. I joined up to get out on my own, and you had to tag along. You think I joined the mobile infantry because of you? You saying you didn't? I'd be honored, Rico. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. You're gonna make squad leader, Rico. Something I got you don't. Oh, you rich kids are all the same. It isn't about that. It's about who's the best. Hey! Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh. There's your squad leader. <laughs> Who needs a knife in a nuke fight anyway? All you gotta do is push a button. Put your hand on that wall, trooper. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> knew it. I knew it. Worst form of trading. Nah, he gonna remember that. The enemy cannot push a button if you disable his hand. <laughs> Medic! <laughs> hey, Flores. Do you know Rico from Buenos Aires? What's his story? He's here because of a girl. <laughs> <laughs> People just not have sex drives? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's used to the human anatomy in this future. <laughs> Sometimes I think I won't make it. Then I think about what you're doing, and then I try harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first take of that butt shot. <laughs> this is like the perfect right-wing world. Fascistopia. I love it. <laughs> I still don't know what the bugs do that's really that bad. You know, other than existing. existing. <laughs> Finding their unfortunate way to argue. There's Amy Smart. Uh, wait! Got such like a pristine sheen to it all. I love it. Deploying wings. That's terrifying. Sweet. Elysium. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> How come you're in such a good mood, huh? Because <laughs> today I get to fly that. Dizzle. What are you doing here? I'm the guy who's going to teach you to fly this crate. Already? Yikes! You scrape your fender. Three meters from object. I bet you're great you at parallel parking. Murdered hundreds of people. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do it. Don't exceed port speed. Or what? Or they revoke your flight status and mine. Your career is in my hands. Ha, uh -huh. Your balls! <laughs> 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 How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Are they really getting shot? <laughs> I think they're getting electrocuted. She's clearly the one for you, man. Man, they're defending. No way in. <laughs> you want to flip six three hole play and you could score. Cover me. Got it. You could score. Flip, flip. <laughs> Oh, yes. Double Dual wielding. Double fist in. Yeah. Flag captured. Rico wins. I couldn't have done it without you, Diz. Friends? Friends. Yeah, you playing the long game. Hi, Johnny. God, this is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you go for? <laughs> the plight. <laughs> this is the real conflict of the movie. 
That's also the problem. She's breaking up with him. I want to command a ship of my own, and you know, I don't think that's going to leave a lot of room for you and me, Johnny. Let's give him some space, guys. What kind of right-wing bullshit is this? She should be settling down with him. Kill all those bugs. This is not a satire anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Go with the backup. <laughs> Diz, what are you doing today? <laughs> Fire team with me. Next team in 10 seconds. Maximum score has been 280. I expect you to do better. Verhoeven has such an interesting way of doing political commentary. I know. He just he just creates the world and commits to it and doesn't even like talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, so <laughs> just lets the world demonstrate itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screwed up! Oh, don't take it off. Did stay put. What's the problem? The damn thing keeps getting in my way. How come whenever something goes wrong, it's always you? Don't take your helmet off, dude. Oh no! Whoa! Oh shit! That's damn. Ain't no medic for that. Rico, did you give the recruit permission to remove his helmet? Sir, yes, sir. Breckenridge reported a helmet malfunction, and I asked him to show it to me, sir. Are you rated? <gasps> Hank. Hank. Sergeant, we've already lost two recruits over this incident. Now I'll be back. We'll try administrative punishment. Oh, put him in the stocks. You know, whip him. This is a very entertaining movie. Yeah. For failure to abide by safety regulations during a live fire exercise. For negligence, which contributed to the death of a teammate. Black man whipping the white man. Hey. Hell yeah. Ten lashes. You may carry out the sentence. Oh, they all have to be present for it. One. Oh, yeah. Three. I'll try not to enjoy this too much. Yeah. Ten lashes. Jeez. There's a gravity field out there. Gravity at 225 and rising. Report. Captain, we're in the path of an unidentified object moving toward us at high speed. Profile suggests an asteroid, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Let's get some bugs in space. Fire! Oh, dang. <laughs> 50 people just died. <laughs> <laughs> Contact fleet, tell them there's a loose asteroid headed their way. Communications are down, ma'am. They're gone. Oh, no. I was hoping it would be all right if I came home. Of, co of course, you should come home immediately. I'm sorry. I've been an idiot. Now, don't talk like that. You just come on home. Talk things out. I'll tell you, I told you so then. We love you, son. Oh, they're going to get killed, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're about to die. Asteroid's going to crash yeah. right into their house. Like, He's got to get motivated somehow. <laughs> Millions dead. A city in ruins. Is that Geneva? The meteor was shot out of orbit by bug plasma that derived from Clendathil, the arachnid's home planet. God, thank God they were away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> they massacred. <laughs> Buenos Aires has been wiped off the earth. Wowie. To ensure that human civilization, not insect, dominates this galaxy now and always. Yes, dominance is the key. Your basic arachnid warrior isn't too smart, but you can blow off a limb. <laughs> it's still 86% combat effective. Here's a tip. Aim for the nerve stem and put it down for good. His hair is not as Ooh. blonde. I'm from Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah! Big bad bugs. The whitest South yeah, American. See, we've. I feel like we've. <laughs> Maybe I've seen so much Doctor Who. <laughs> so I'm just like, I just don't feel like the bugs did anything. Bad. I know. They just need a habitable home world where they won't fly into ours at random. Like, are they really that bad? <laughs> Xander, you remember Johnny? This is the part that's best for both of us. Johnny, wait. You yeah, forget it, Lieutenant. He's mobile infantry. You got something to say about the mobile infantry? I think you heard me. You want to make something of it? Yes. Football. Do it. Shirtless football. 
Don't right, do this. Come on, what's he gonna do? Yeah. Ooh! No, Marvin, come on! Come on! Get a rebuild! Mobile infantry and fleet don't mix. Come on! Uh, doomed from the start. This movie has an insane production. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> This looks gorgeous. It's like so many costumes and set pieces. Get your helmet on straight, man. I thought this movie was going to be them mainly just killing bugs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so much more commentary than I expected. Yeah. I mean, most all the bug kills thus far have it's been like in either... It's like an hour in, and we haven't even got into the... Yeah, they're all in real. either, like, laboratory settings or propaganda videos. Yeah. Jeez, man. Still looks great. Drop is 35% complete, man. Oh no, get out of there. Oh yeah, it's chaos. Ah! Whoa. It's a lot of dead humans. Look at all these extras, my god. They're they're just running right into battle. <laughs> oh, is this what the beginning of the movie was? I mean, it looks kind of like it, although it's much darker than that was. Yeah. Rockets up! Rocket crew! Go up. get some. <laughs> Holy God. That is terrifying. Whoa. Set. Fire! Wowie. Guess you ain't got to worry about radiation in this future. Fire! Oh, shit. Wow. Looks really hard to kill them. Got an aim at the nerve cortex. That is so many bugs. Hey, what are we doing? I don't know. Kill them! Kill them all! <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. That's a strategy. <laughs> Come on! Come on! You want some? That is. Get some! Yeah! Get yeah. some hit! <laughs> More than just yourself killed. No! No! no. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Dad, <laughs> oh. I'm tearing apart. <laughs> god, I would just rely on grenades. Oh! Oh! No! She was so nice, Glenda. You got come! It's a general retreat. Back to the boat! <laughs> this is play. This is what this shit so fast. <laughs> Land, get out of here! Planet hostile Woo! Just keep filming. Just keep filming. Whatever you get do, don't stop shot. filming. That's the people, the world needs to know. That's cl clever to get it on the other side. I'll buy that for a dollar. I <laughs> love that the cameraman. <laughs> I think it's great to get that perspective of the cameraman. Yeah. Just like, get that shot. Go, go, go! Get out of here now! That was Casper Van Dien at the beginning. Hey. Ah! 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 Oh. Oh, oh, man. Yikes. Ow. Oh. 
Just happened. What? Can't eat Rico? Some kind of bug that we haven't seen yet. A leadership cast, a, a hive brain. Brain bugs? Frankly, I find the idea of a bug that thinks offensive. <laughs> yeah, small minded man. What's going on with that whole psychic thing? That's got to come in, especially with the hive mind idea. It's all your fault. Why did they declare Rico deceased? He's right here. Star Wars. Oh, that's cool. Three days. You out. Good as new. See you later. Bye. Aww. Aww. Ah, was nice. Three days in there. Sounds relaxing. Hopefully the bugs don't come in and destroy it all. You want the job, huh? I wouldn't mind. That guy's in Walking Dead. So I hear you, Lieutenant. Real nutbuster. <laughs> oh. That would be you. No one talks about the lieutenant that way. He saved my life. Mine too. Oh, he's the priest. Yeah, yeah. Who's <laughs> it Ironside? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone fights, no one quits. If you don't do your job, I'll shoot you. <laughs> Wowie. They were just trying to feel like the bugs are that bad. <laughs> they were just trying to have a parade just now, that's all. I don't They're just marching through town and just doing their thing. <laughs> Did I miss some line in the beginning? <laughs> that tells me why they're so bad. Like, yeah, you interact with them, they're gonna kill you, but just like leave them alone. <laughs> Much easier to kill them during the day. It was screaming. It was in pain. Guys, don't waste your bullets. It takes like 4,000 bullets to kill one of them. <laughs> and you guys clearly just take the spray approach. <laughs> Final! That is a nuclear rocket. Holy God. <laughs> <that. laughs> My God. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. We need another nuke. Oh, yeah. I remember that shot from the trailers when I was a kid. Ooh. Did remember that shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no. That's your punching arm. No. I liked her. Get on top of him. That's smart. <laughs> Learn to ride it. <laughs> it's like a boss level. Yeah, it really to make a great arcade game. <laughs> Jam a nuke down in. <laughs> Hurry up, Rico. Whoa. Get off there, Rico. That's far enough away. Nicely Ooh, done. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's not getting disintegrated. That's for Buenos Aires. <laughs> That's for Buenos Aires. I need a corporal. You're it until you're dead, or until I find somebody better. Promotion. What about it, Des? Looks like I'm your girl, sir. <coughs> Aww. Ah! <laughs> they do have great chemistry. All three of them, they should have a three-way. Here's the 
Yes, sir. Come on, Corporal. Uh, no, I don't do that anymore. I remember when you used to dance. Come on. Do I have to pull rank? Oh, come on, man. You once asked me for advice. Want some now? Yes, sir. Never pass up a good thing. <laughs> I've been watching you since school, and you're an idiot, son. This <laughs> 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 is tough for his <laughs> Finally. Get that Casper Van D nip. We finally got together, Des. I love you, Johnny. Aww. Aww. He didn't say it back. You're Moving out, there's been a distress call from General Owen on Planet B, so get your shit wired and report in 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Who's that with you? Glory, sir. Make it 20 minutes. <laughs> Wingman of the year. Any contact with General Owen? No, sir. Not even the transponder signal. It's these canyons. Go to higher ground, sir. Oh, good. Wings. Post whiskey up. Post this is Roughneck 2-0 on... <laughs> I feel like you straight up sacrificed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, mercy kill. I'd expect anyone in this unit to do the same for me. <laughs> and you will. I would love to be in this war. <laughs> Gross. Jeez. <laughs> Dirty bugs came in right while they are having chow. Ugh. Oh. Really? What does that look like to you, Rico? Ooh. Like a bug was in his brain, sir. Ugh. You put your fucking hand in there with oh. that. That's blood already. Right. Sucked his brains out. <laughs> Jake Busey did not sign up for this. We should just shoot me. Uh, it! He's just a little out of his mind, sir. Space dementia. Come on, you hey! You wanna live forever? Those are cool outfits. Yeah. The helmets and all that stuff. Like That's a lot of bugs. Uh, oh, no. That's an impossible situation. Fire! Fire! Oh, those gotta help. That is so many bugs. How does this all look as good as it does? <laughs> wow. Oh no. Oh, oh wow. I feel like oh. I got nice. I, mean, I, I know ammo has never been an issue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. This place crawl, sir. We need pickup now. What's your position? Come down on this transmission. So the outpost? That's crazy. Well, I hope you have a crazy pilot. Out. Oh, you have a crazy pilot. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. This is an impossible situation. It's a nightmare. Fall back into the compound. Fall back. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're way faster. Yeah. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> Feel that slash. Yeah. Oh. Guys, just let him go. Just get the get out of there. What are you wasting your time for? That's a crazy pilot. Thank cover fire. Fall back. This is the rescue. Fall back to the boat. Fall back. 
Michael Ironside. No. Why are you always dying, Michael Ironside? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> nah, you're gonna have to kill him, dude. Put him out of his misery. You remember his orders. Oh, Yikes. nice. Do it, Rico! Oh, she's getting a painful ass death. Oh, she's way dead. Put her in the back to tank. She'll be fine. No. Come on. She's the best. Let's go. Get aboard. You too. Damn it! <laughs> oh, jeez, that's horrific. Johnny, I'm dying, I'm dying. No, you're gonna be all right, Diz. Oh man. Because I got to have you. Oh, oh, that's really sad. Say it back, buddy. Oh. No. That is sad. Maybe Denise Richards will take him back. Especially now. She Concerned has Concerned about his feelings. It's her duty. Attention on deck! Wow, she's getting like a full-on funeral. It's representative of all the soldiers. No one gets a full-on funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Burial at space. Officer on deck. Jeez, Straight up look like Nazi Gestapo uniforms. <laughs> over here. Jesus. <laughs> and every day I have to make decisions that send hundreds of people like you to their deaths. That's what the mobile infantry's good for. We're going back to P to capture that brain. You're still going to be friends? Everyone fights. No one quits. If you don't do your job, I'll kill you myself. Do you get me? We got you, sir! Welcome to the Roughnecks. Rico's Roughnecks! <laughs> Alliteration. They really should plan better. They've been through this, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> what does a brain bug do? It, it controls them all. It's like the queen. It's the hive mind yeah. bug? Yeah. <laughs> no! All of his love interests are going to die. Wow, that's horrifying. Damn, the details. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, oh. bummer. Oh, ha, ha. Wow. Ooh. Space Mountain. Life out of Bravo 63204. This is insane. Oh, oh my geez. god. <laughs> <laughs> no. No! <laughs> this is Roughneck 2 0. You're breaking up! Say again! Carmen? Say again! I'm losing you! Carmen! You're breaking up? Okay. Get out. Get out. What's your name, address, and birthday? <laughs> hey, good. <laughs> All right, let's go. Rock and roll. 
South 42 East 118 situation is... I repeat, South 42 East 118. The situation is extremely hostile. <laughs> Here we go. Ouch. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> What's the point of it? So if the brain bug sucks out the brains, does it like take all the memories and everything? I guess it, it seems like they're yeah, they're like learning sort of how to anticipate what the humans will do. And learning what the humans want. She's still alive. How do you know? I don't know how I know, but I know. Psychic. Yes. She's freaking it's so psychic in your mind. <laughs> Roughneck two zero. Proceed on mission. I need two volunteers. Yeah, buddy. The main, the main people to leave. <laughs> yeah, no, just leave them with no leader. Yeah. <laughs> Where do we go? <laughs> Who assumes command? Yeah. Uh, that is disgusting. I'm pretty sure I've seen an image of this creature before. I've seen this creature in person before. Have you? Yeah. Damn, what effects house was that? It's so cute. Oh my god, that is disgusting. I feel a little <laughs> nauseous. Uh, uh, <laughs> Someone like me is gonna kill you and your whole race. <laughs> now you've done it. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Sweet. Gnarly. Oh. Ah, that knife. Now throw it. Throw it, yes. She would not be using that hand. <laughs> she would not be holding up her arm like that. <laughs> so is, <laughs> she's is it, too way too much. Is it not armed? <laughs> she's not even like responding to the <laughs> Why are these bullets taking them out so easily? I know, it's about to say they're much better at killing them now. <laughs> they learn to aim at those nerve endings. Oh no. No, Walking Dead Priest guy. The fuck, sir? Get out of here! That's an order. Yeah, you're fast. Duck and cover! Why would you stop to look? Stop, stop, stop <laughs> turning around. Saved by a cave-in. Life made the decision for him. Got rid of that one guy. Got rid of that girl. Yeah. Now he they're both back widows. With Carmen. Oh no. Aw, oh. oh, poor guy. It's in pain. It's a fray. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> We are terrorizing these creatures! Xenophobia! <laughs> <laughs> Fear is the ultimate power! <laughs> it was a drill instructor named Zim who captured a brain. Hey! Good for him. Thank you, sir. That would be private, sir. <laughs> Carry on, private. Yes, sir! He had to get devoted to go to combat. <laughs> uh, that's... that's that's kind of neat. <laughs> Federal scientists are working around the clock to probe its secrets. Oh. But we will defeat it. Oh. Ah. This is the captain speaking. All personnel prepare for drop. Soldiers like Private Ace Levy and Lieutenant John Rico. <laughs> D. 
dope. Paul, Paul Verhoeven. Wow. That was fun. That was a delight. That was a movie. That was cool. What'd you think, John? I <laughs> that was uh, a roller coaster ride. That was quite enthralling. Is yeah, like you said, I I guess I it, it out the at the outset I expected something more along the lines of like you know the third act, but for the whole movie. So I I, I appreciated how much they let you live in this world and how it sort of just presents everything to you and sort of leaves it up to you to kind of interpret how it's you know coming at the material because i think this is based on a book and i think the book is said to be a lot more unironically what this movie is doing <laughs> um but yeah uh i had a blast this was fun from from start to finish and uh, i appreciate the sly way in which paul verhoeven works in his commentary to these different movies and uh, i thought the cast was great too the cast was great cast mm -hmm. Casper Van Dien, Cast man, where's Casper he been? Van Dien? Why is where where's the Casper sauce gonna gonna happen? Um, well, the recommendations on Amazon are Starship Trooper Three, which seems like Casper Van Dien returns. Yes, that's the he one. Looks older, yeah. Starship Troopers Invasion, Starship Troopers Traitor of Mars. It's like an animated movie where he looks like Snake Plissken. I I feel like maybe they lost sight of the commentary I and, and it just became about <laughs> i have an absolute <laughs> feeling that this franchise became what the first movie was trying to comment on <laughs> yeah 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 totally it, i i don't know i have i have no idea but it just, just the impression, impression that i'm sort of getting. because yeah it it's one of those things where it it feels satirical um but also in the in the Kind of like, kind of like RoboCop. Um, There's a lot of RoboCop in here. Yeah, but kind of like how RoboCop has a commentary, but it doesn't treat it with a wink at the audience in a way. It, it's almost like he made a propaganda film. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, yeah that's, and I think that's kind of the the cool approach to it because it's also like an entertaining, cheesy, campy movie. Like, there's a lot of ways yeah. you can look at it as like just a fun sci-fi movie that. Because as much as it's like a propaganda, it's like it deals with all kinds of things of like fascism. I, 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 there are certain words I have the hardest time pronouncing. Authoritarianism. <laughs> Authoritarianism. <laughs> Authoritarianism. Yeah, yeah. And military Mil conquest. Uh, yeah. The, those words. Militarianism. Militarism, yeah. Militarism. And, and the way we like recruit uh, people so young. I mean, I guess it helps that all these high school seniors <laughs> look like they're college yeah. seniors. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Well, it had a good gloss to it with everyone. It was like the perfect world of what, you know. Uh, and it, if, it, if I wasn't aware, Paul, I, I don't think it would have any. I don't, it's only more obvious to me because I'm aware Paul Verhoeven made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus You're if I didn't know it, it I, I'd be like. What is this movie? Yeah. <laughs> is that, like, yeah. is this saying this is cool? <laughs> or am I just picked up on the sci-fi stuff? Um, whereas, like, the propaganda stuff, I'm like, okay, like, like, really is the commercials that that make it, that really shine a light that this is a, a, a satire commentary on it. Yeah, they bring yeah. the irony front and center, especially by the end when you have, like, even bigger, uh, bigger shinier titles and bigger, shinier ships and guns, and then they're like, torturing this creature you know with all this triumphant music playing like i think that that kind of highlights what's happening under the surface well the also the the other than neil patrick harris the characters are likable yeah. and they don't seem that bad they don't seem like bad people you know what i mean so yeah. as much as there's the commentary on it which is when we might just go to, you know, to the form the societal conditioning and the influencing of the mindset you know uh, yeah sure it can uh, whereas like freaking neil patrick harris is like straight up turning into like experimental nazi guy no, he 100%, yeah. you know uh but you like caster van dean and um i don't know that actress's name i swear i've seen her a thousand times though yeah i mean i've been trying to place it this she whole time had a role in friends of Rhea. she was in a play with joey tribbiani oh snap and she's great yeah um 
yeah, I, I thought she was awesome, yeah. and I, I like I like the tone of it a lot. It's really funny and self aware, and and uh, I even enjoy Denise Richards, Dina Meyer, Dina Meyer. Oh, yeah, yeah, Denise Richards is good too in this. That's right, she's in Birds of Prey, and she's uh, she's Jigsaw's wife. That's or no, 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 not Jigsaw's wife. She's she's the uh, she's a mother. cop in Saw. She's like the one of the investigators. Oh yeah, she gets killed. And she gets that horrible uh, at, at three. A, uh, Spoilers if you were planning on binging it. She <laughs> dies in three. <laughs> they're going, I swear you're in Saw, but I can't I can't quite. I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that, a bunch of other faces you've seen a thousand times. Yeah. I like the relationship between the, the core three. There's like a fourth guy there, but I don't really remember much about it. But there's the, <laughs> the, 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 like Jake Busey, Dina Meyer. Dina Meyer and uh, Casper, Casper Van Dean. Yeah. I like the chemistry between them. I like the... Yeah. 90s high school romance love triangle situation going on. I thought that was fun and yeah. The effects still hold up really well. Like it's got this looks incredible. Killer production design. This looks amazing for when it was made. Like this this is it's a testament to real movie magic to me because this was like watching Jurassic Park again or something where you're sitting there going like, "Man, the budget must have been insane, but you also know exactly where to put miniatures you knew where to put your physical effects you knew how to reuse all those corpse bodies really cleverly without calling too much attention to it and then when the cg needs to be there for the most part it looks pretty great like the only real cg effects where i was like eh, this could be a little bit better is when you know like the brain alien at the end is so like smooth i feel like those textures maybe don't read as well but for the most part like it's it's really well assembled but it doesn't pull me out of the movie no it, it's I'm aware because because the movie is so cheesy too yeah. that it so so I mean it's a real movie still it's still a real film it's yeah. not I I thought I was just walking into pure camp fest sure you know not that I'm like oh this is a real serious thing uh yeah, I just thought I was gonna walk into it because when I heard it was two hours I'm like two hours that's a long time and I, and I feel like it's a little I still feel like it's a little too long a I little like I feel like it's like could have ended like twenty minutes earlier yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. um but I, I, I still think that they they made an actual film where I was invested in the story, and I I did kind of care about the characters for the most part. Like I was really bummed when Dita died. When Dita got too. killed, I was like, "What? That sucks." That really bummed me out. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Yeah. Like like they're good at making you root for them, and I think they they did wisely to pull in a a classic story. Uh, because you know, it's like you're. You, I, I think it's part of the greater soup of what's happening in a movie like this, where like, yeah, especially it doesn't betray its perspective. We are humans watching this, so we're watching it from the human perspective. So they're going to have endearing relationships, and they're going to be endearing yeah. qualities to them. And I think making it that you're spending most of your time with these private characters, and you're watching as um, as Rico gets promoted through the ranks, but you know, you're you're on the ground level, and I think that bolsters it. Like you said, is feeling like an actual movie like an, it's, it's treated like an actual war movie but yeah you have like the just the right amount of camp to sell the heightened sci-fi-ness of it all without it being silly and i think too they use like the fact that uh the, uh, the denise richards character uh, carmen is you know becoming a pilot on this ship that looks exactly like an imperial ship from star wars <laughs> like is uh i feel like those little things help to kind of again betray what's really going on but I, I think it's a good choice that they don't betray the characters too much by overriding them with the authorial you know perspective of you know the the themes and stuff like that not to say it's like i feel like this is a movie that has a lot of those themes on hand but it's not like a hundred percent committed to being like no this is an allegory that's going to teach you something about fascism and how the mechanics of the military industrial complex work like it's commenting on that stuff but it's also yeah like you said having fun it's also really imaginative it's also really well constructed like it's a little bit of everything and that's i think what makes it so satisfying is because then on top of all that you can go oh wait this actually does have something of a brain underneath yeah. all the machismo and all the goo oh i think it i think the the insightfulness of what they're commenting on is is kind of resonant throughout the whole movie, right down to Casper Van Dien's Rico character. Yeah. Just the evolution that he has of someone wanting to, like, spoiled rich kid who wants to join the military to make something of himself, and then the way his 
the way he morphs over time into the cold-blooded, perfect soldier by the end of the movie. Becomes Ironside. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> like, it's it's not cool. It's, it's, it's sad. It's, it's fleshed out in how but, they yeah. did it. But what I like about the approach is if it's made in a way that's not demonstrating... The, the, it's it's a clever film because it's not it, it doesn't feel like it's pro war and pro violence no a, a, and because if in fact in a lot of ways it's it kind of feels like it's the opposite of that yeah yet they make it in the way to execute it was to make it like it's a pro war movie well it's <laughs> and, so and that's what's smart about it <laughs> yeah like there's so much that is really cool and and you have all these great little uh interstitial propaganda pieces and news items to bolster the that attitude but when you're really in the midst of the fighting it it's pretty hellish like you know for as heightened yeah. as it is like a the, horde of them coming at yeah, you yeah sucks like those battle scenes and and the gore gags and the way people are getting mangled and mutilated and disintegrated and melted and and like it's 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 pretty nasty and then when you get to the end you have the brain sucker alien like it's really gr- gross and icky <laughs> you know so i feel like they they knew where to put the real fun stuff and it's still fun as a viewer to watch you know the military action when it really takes hold but i feel like those scenes especially aren't played for fun and that's part of why it it works it's like it's one of those i feel like movies before a certain point with messaging and and i guess you know ham-fisted movies have always existed but i feel like this is one that kind of allows you the viewer to pick that up or not you know in the way it portrays things so you could probably watch this and be like yeah let me go enlist right now you know, but you could also watch this and be like, oh, uh, what, what did the bugs do, though? <laughs> you know, I, mean, I was watching it the whole time going, what, did the, what bug- did the bugs do? I don't know what the bugs did that were so bad to. to so bad that we have to go across space yeah. to go and wipe them out. And I understand that, yeah, it's like they've got these little meteorites hurling our way. But I'm like, look at all this technology. We, we could easily deflect one of those. <laughs> you know, we could deal with that, you know. Yeah. Seems like. It's like we we want the violence, and that's kind of what they're learning in the school. Yeah, yeah. It's like we want it. We want the violence. So I think there is a, an interesting commentary to be had here. But it's also, if you want to just watch it as like a fun, like an exploitive flick, I think you can do that too because it is a fun movie. That's the magic of Verhoeven. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, RoboCop has that for sure. And Showgirls. And Showgirls especially. He knocked it out of the park there. That's yeah. why I made a bunch of films following Showgirls. Uh, yeah, no, I, th- I think uh, did he do Basic Instinct too? Is that it? Maybe he's he's come back. I want to say since. I forget which ones he's done. Because I don't know if it was him to Basic Instinct. Because he's like I mi- like watching this made me miss. Okay, so he's he's done some sort of some stuff recently. But like this made me Damn, miss. I'm like be changed their shit around. How's this working? Yeah, it doesn't separate things quite as intuitively. He did do Basic Instinct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like Total Recall. Yeah. I wasn't so sure he was liberal. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, yeah, he's great at taking the and, and RoboCop. The first time I saw that, I had a similar experience where I was expecting like, oh, this is just going to be cool. You know, this is just going to be some cool, schlocky, hyper violent police thriller. But, you know, like the police are also a problematic organization. And that movie doesn't shy away from that or the interplay between, you know, uh, uh, the worst parts of capitalism and, you know, force and order and all those things. And and this also does that. Like, I loved the distinction between, uh, what is it, citizen and uh, civilian. civilian. Yeah, and, and the way that they're using that in school almost as a sociological sort of thing. Uh, but using that as the seed to, you know, indoctrinate these kids, you know, that whole thing about he actually d- discouraged me, you know, like really kind of uh, uh, creating this enticement of these kids through that. And and you hear the I think that motif is echoed again when they say, like, you know, consignment guarantees citizenship and you or cons- conscription, you know, like joining up guaranteed citizenship. And I feel like. Immediately, I thought, like, oh, okay, you join our military, we will make you a citizen. But no, 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 no. It's actually legitimizing you as an already canonized citizen. You know, like, this is the way to be a true citizen is to be a patriot, is to go out and fight, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's clever. 
No, the movie's very. I thought the movie was very really clever, and I thought it had uh, some cool action in it. Infinite amount of bullets that you just <laughs> spray relentlessly. <laughs> no. It's just like nonstop. Never reload. I thought the costumes were really cool too. Oh, dude, those helmets and yeah, the the especially the battle gear. Sick. Yeah, it was really. It was it was, it was cool. It was it was not exactly uh, what I was expecting. No. Uh, not at all, actually. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Like the last half, it, it was. Um, and I was more I was more into it the first half than I was the last half. Well, because it's a really well realized world, and yeah, I enjoyed going through all the different. You know, you you go through all the different uh, institutions and ranks and places, and you're you're seeing so many pockets of how society exists now. And too, like they're from. <laughs> you got all these people with these like Hispanic names who are all these like white kids and stuff. So like it had an interesting. I, I almost wanted to know more about how the world I- works now because, you know, it seemed like the country boundaries weren't the same as they are in our version of the world. So it seems just like an, it's one of those movies, too, where they world build uh, without having to do all of it in a very in-your-face way. Like, there are just details about the world that are interesting that, again, are yours to catch or not catch. And, uh, and yeah, it's like part of me was like, I want to spend time just sort of knowing what Earth is like in this day and age because yeah their designs were really interesting what was the the so the book itself is supposed to what were you saying earlier you said something that stood out to me that the book itself is supposed to be more um like it's sincere <laughs> and in it and this is make and the movie took the approach of of mocking it in a way or making fun of it in a way yeah kind of warping it inside out and making it a commentary on the kind of fascism the book was essentially demonstrating in a more straightforward sort of way is how it's always been been broke down to me now that i've seen the movie you know i'm sure there's a very in-depth you know video essay about that but that's always what i've been sort of alluded by other people so here's a fun fact for you from imdb oh let's do this um that uh, Verhoeven and cinematographer Jost Vacano shot the co-ed shower scene in the nude themselves on a dare from Dina Meyer. What? Uh, on the day of the shoot, Verhoeven had asked the cast to do a little fashion show without fashion so that they could get comfortable being naked. When the cast was reluctant to disrobe, Verhoeven asked them what the big deal was, to which my responded, Paul, if it's no big deal, why don't you do it? Quite unexpectedly, Verhoeven got undressed as well as Vacano, who had been raised in a nudity camp, all After right. an initial shock, Van, Van Dien reported yelled, Oh, God, Dino, why? And a good laugh from the cast. The scene was filmed without problems. That scene was so distracting <laughs> me because I feel like half you guys have to be like super horny right now. Right? Know. <laughs> we are, you are not. You are young blood or showering a bunch of attractive women right like, now. You created somehow the most mature shooting environment because none of us watching that <laughs> scene are able to be like, Nope, this is normal. <laughs> which, no, it's not, yeah. Which good for them in the future, I guess, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Sexual sociology and politics are much more calm in this future. Because, <laughs> yeah, they got co ed everything. Oh, here we go. Here's an interesting quote. Um, Why are you doing a right wing fascist movie? Verhoeven was asked. He replied, If I tell the world that a right wing fascist way of doing things doesn't work, then no one will listen to me. So I'm going to make a perfect fascist world. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is shiny. Everyone has big guns and fancy ships, but it's only good for killing fucking bugs. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, that is the world that he created. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he succeeded. I mean, that's that. the way we treated when we were going to war too. Just crushed them like they're bugs. Crushed them like they're bugs, and we are, you know, the elite. We're beautiful, and we are mighty, and yeah, yeah. we're shiny. We will come and bring the light <laughs> to whatever we touch our boots down on. Uh, wow, this was crazy. Yeah, man, so many trivia. Well, guys, I thought this was a really fun movie with a much more interesting take with a production design that still holds up really well yeah. with some fun performances to be had. Mm-hmm. And uh, I wonder what the sequels ultimately pan out to be other than some schlock fest. So we'll watch them all. Are they good? Are they highly revered? <laughs> uh, you know, maybe part three is okay. If they got, if they got Van Dien back... I doubt it. Which I've seen him in person. Okay, He's so they have made a direct Starship Troopers 2. Okay. Yeah. These must be they all straight to, to, straight to DVDs, right? God, 1997. Damn, 12%, th- 12% audience, score. audience score. That's a bummer. How is it so bad? That is so bad. 
No, the critic score is higher. Uh, that's thirty three percent. Starship Shoopers three, fifty percent critic score, but ninety percent audience score. But the caveat is only six critics reviewed each of these movies. Oh yes, <laughs> so true. so you have a way larger pool of uh, viewer reviews. Okay, Starship Troopers one not is is fresh on both accounts. Starship Troopers Invasion, the animated one, is better liked by audiences for sure. Oh, Traitors of Mars sound. Traitor of Mars. What? Is it cost effective these days to do these CG movies for stuff like this? I have no idea. Oh, but Casper Van Dien and D- and Dina Meyer came back to do voices. Oh, that's cool. So, Dina Meyer? So maybe her character lives. I guess maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll do some retcon. Oh, he's got the eye patch. Yeah. Damn, Rico. I'm not sure. We should watch them all. We should report back. It's time to do a Starship Troopers binge, guys. That's right. (laughs) We will rank them all and let you know which one's the best. God, Denise Richards. Yeah, man. Back in the heyday. I was like, I did not know. I did not realize you you were the queen. That's right, man. Just before Undercover Brother. She is still pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, She's she's, a little uh, little plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah. It happens. it happens. It happens. It happens now more than ever. It happens when you're in this world. When you're on planet Earth and you're a woman in Hollywood, <laughs> a little over Botox. You know, you know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Eh. What's the one woman saying? Dino, Dino, what? Dina Meyer. D- I don't think you're right about that. Here you are. Hey, 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 hey. She's aged gracefully. She looks good still, but she looks natural. Yeah, gray. Gray. She's got some grays going on. It's all good. Rock that silver. Rock that silver. Aw, her and Denise Richards are still friends. Dude. All right. Let's get them all back together. It's difficult to choose. Reunion. I know. And especially back then, they were both so electric. They both both had it. It's a real. You know? That is the perfect. Like, they live in. He goes, like, the. Go to Harvard, the Ulta. He's got all the money. Yeah, he knows the best part of the capitalist society. Embraces it all. Go to war, fight for your country. That's a that's a wild movie. It's kind of uh yeah, yeah. It's like and a then, whole. And the whole time I was like, I don't know what these bugs did. <laughs> 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 they're just they're just out here being. They're just, just out like, here being yeah. bugs. Just don't go bother them. <laughs> that's it. And if they come your way, deal with that. It's, but it just felt like it doesn't need it to be any more so pointless to me. Like, why are they? They don't even fight. I don't. Get, I don't get why they're fighting. There's no need for them to fight. <laughs> that scene where they're. I wonder. I truly wonder if those were real roaches. Where the kids that one shot where the kids are stomping on the roaches, and it may reminded me of Men in Black. That whole like, you don't start nothing, it ain't gonna be nothing. You know. Well, then when they're um, like when the cameraman too is also like zooming in. Like w- when the person's being killed and they're just like fucking recording up yeah. close. Just that might have like, been a nope. Pro- like just, yeah, that uh, war sells. What can you do? Yeah, whatever you do, don't stop filming. I, w- I wonder if they had the. I, I really wonder if those roaches are real. There are, there are rules about that. <laughs> Probably. There are, there are rules about bug actors on screen. You can't kill bugs on screen. All righty, guys. Well, what do you think of Starship Troopers? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Leave a like. Hey, listen to this with a patron of the day shout out. Andrew Hayes. Ah. We said, who the hell are we shouting out for Starship Troopers? And uh, we didn't even have to look at the list. We said, who will we want on our team yes. to go out there and kill some bugs? I'm going to kill some big bugs. Starship Troopers, Andrew Hayes over here. You just, right, kn- if you know this guy. Short, stocky fella. He can go in there, run. You can see him running up that hill with his tiny little legs. Dude, you'd be in the shower with him being like, how does this guy pack such a punch? Hey, you want the little bug? I'll unlock your luck. I'll punch you in the face. I'll clean your clock, you bug. Yeah, get some. Get some. That's Andrew Hayes out there fighting some bugs, man. How to survive a bug apocalypse. Dude, Andrew, I never hear from you anymore, but you stay pledged at the at one of our highest levels forever. That's just a loyal citizen of the reject nation and the kind of person you want you. as part of your army when you're traveling across space trying to murder some creatures that that they deserve it. They, they absolutely deserve did it. So, everything. So, Andrew, hope you have a Merry Christmas. Say hi to your family for me. <laughs> and you better have a damn good New Year because if you don't, I'm kicking in that door. Make it and worse. Saying, Quit having a 
bitch year <laughs> and have a great year. Have a glow up. I love <laughs> yours. Thank you.